Good evening, fellows and barbers. Welcome to episode 17 of Now the Breton Vet. Did you know that $7 million in $100 notes weighs approximately 70 kgs? It is therefore very reasonable to assume that it can fit in the boot of a car, be driven to a border post and try to be smuggled out the country. Did that actually happen? Who knows? But with this junta, anything is possible. While other youths in Zimbabwe are trying to eke out living, uh, thinking of where their next meal is coming from, Junta youth members are busy making sex tapes of themselves and one of their countless sexual partners. Yes, we know, it's their life, it's none of our business, and their privacy should be respected. However, it is also true that the Junta should maybe abide by the new constitution, the Junta should perhaps not kidnap activists, and the Junta should perhaps also abide by the rule of law. But that doesn't happen either. Boy oh boy have Zimbabweans marched in the last few weeks. It's almost as if the citizens have all embarked on a walk for food campaign. And then depending on how the right police react, it could turn into a run for life campaign. But the funniest aspect of all of these marches was the one that was organized by the Junta themselves against, of all things, corruption. Yep, enter these Zidaz people, ZANU idiots demonstrating against ZANU. As we have stressed on previous episodes, if you are a Junta member, you actually can't demonstrate against yourself. That's embarrassing for you and for the country at large. You Junta guys are the problem. If you want to fix anything, leave office. Coalition of Democrats, code for short, was signed this week. The following parties signed. Dare, MDCN, MKD, RDZ and Zunde. They all agreed to support one candidate per constituency and one presidential candidate. This is definitely a step in the right direction. We have a very serious reality on the ground. With over 12 major opposition parties, if there is no coalition between them, then we will be ruled by the junta for another five-year term. There is a saying, servants, mentioned by a perhaps a little-known person called Plato. He said, one of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by your inferiors. It is now up to each and every Zimbabwean to contribute to this struggle. 2018 is the last chance. The last chance at a peaceful transition in Zimbabwe. If you are in the diaspora, Imagine not having to send money back home anymore. Imagine even going a step further and being able to get a good paying job in Zimbabwe itself, near your family. No more permit issues, no more false arrests, no more dodging police and living like criminals in other countries. Those in Zimbabwe, imagine seeing your loved ones every day. Imagine not having to cross the Limpopo again. Imagine working schools, working hospitals, work in police stations. Imagine getting a job that is within one combi ride of where you live. That is possible if the opposition unites. That is possible if each Zimbabwean does their bit to fight for democracy. A unified opposition is the first step at removing the junta. And the important point here is the word peacefully. The following message that we want to give at Brett Mouvet must be listened to very carefully by those in opposition and the junta themselves and is as follows. If 2018 does not bring change, then the only remaining avenue left for the ordinary Zimbabweans is a revolution carried out by the people. Remember, 
the days before the elections in 2002 and, and again man, in 2008, where the army generals came out, <clears throat> they sat on a table much like this, and they said they will not accept any leader who wasn't a war vet or basically didn't belong to their junta. Well, we the people are now saying something pretty similar. What we are saying is that if there is not an opposition leader in State House after the 2018 elections, then the people will take matters into their own hands. We are saying it would be much better for the Junta to take what they have stolen so far and leave. The people will not mind. They will not follow you. You can even take the 15 billion. If you insist on staying, that is when the people's patience will surely run out. And that is where the opposition need to now have a plan B. Failure to prepare for this. You as the opposition will be thrown aside and a new set of leaders will take over the struggle. Coalition is the only road for survival for all those op opposition politicians who are past their sell-by dates. No more time for posturing or big man mentality. It is now time to sit down and work out the modalities of a grand coalition before 2018. I'm a plumber, guys. I work with my hands. I'm a trademan. I'd rather be working, spending time with my family, doing my hobbies. But instead, I am sitting here doing these videos, fighting against the junta, because they have forced me to do that. The situation back home is bad. It is very, very bad. If I do not stand up, what future do I leave for my children? Do I rely on them to stand up and fight? No. It is up to me. And it's up to you to stand up and make the effort to fight and remove this junta. You and I and Fidza are all in the same boat. And that brings an end to another episode of Bretton Vet. If you like what I'm saying and you agree with what I'm saying, please have a look at our uh, Facebook and our YouTube channel, both of them entitled Bretton Vet. And there'll be a couple of more posts and a few more videos up there. Thank you very much.